So basically, he thought there were there's some holes in it. Uh, there's some holes in it. He thought we were selling that thing, that that kitty cat, that meow. <laughs> he thought he was selling that meow. Everybody thought we was escorts. Everybody thought we was selling that meow. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Today I'm doing a mukbang, and I'm gonna be talking about my trip I took to Vegas. So I am super, super hungry. I've been hungry all freaking day. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. So we got the king crab. You already know we got the corn in the building, and we got shrimp. So let me go ahead and start because yo, I'm hungry. I got my lemon, my agua. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys have been keeping up on me, like the three of y'all that actually like rock with your girl, I was gone for like <laughs> a week and a half. So let me tell y'all what happened, y'all. I do not like leaving y'all on scene like that, but sometimes I be, I don't know. I be like trying to figure out content. I be dealing with my kids. I be having a lot going on, okay? I hope you guys like my hair right now, like, can you guys see it? It's super cute. Okay, anyways, hold on real quick. Let me go ahead and uh, get into this crab crab. So let me show y'all my sauce. I'm just all over the place, y'all, okay? But I know y'all understand. Okay, we have the sauce in the beating. I see all that goodness that's under there, like, <coughs> So this ain't no smack delicious sauce. My mom make this sauce super good. <clears throat> but she always make it hot. Like I swear to you. And I'm like a baby when it comes to spice. So like any bit of heat is like choking me. Okay. So, oh Lord. Uh -uh. I literally look at my fingers as you guys seen. It's like my eyes already start to water. But anywho, we ain't going to be no chicken today. But you see all that? That right there, that's onions. That is, uh, um, what's the word? Garlic and it's ginger. And ginger, like, it's kind of spicy if you guys don't know. I don't really like ginger, but yeah. It be like that. So, hold on. Let's get into it real quick. Oh, my hair gets to the food <clears throat> and I don't want to mess my outfit up hmm. I just went fashion over all right but the three of you that actually keep up on your girl I was gone for like a week and a half and it was because I was trying to figure out like I was trying to do this hairstyle and I actually uploaded this video so if you guys are interested in seeing how I got my jumbo box spray super super cute Perfect fall colors. Make sure you guys go check out that video. But yeah, I was trying to do my hair for like forever. And if you guys know, like, if you guys have kids and y'all know, like, trying to fit things in where they need to fit in and also record a video where it's, like, quiet and I can focus and, you know, not be saying, stop, hey, come here, no, do that, Get, stop, ah, that, ah, you know what I mean? Like, I just be like, if you got kids, you know, like, it be like that. So, trying to find time to record the video took forever, and I didn't know, like, what hairstyle I wanted to do. I know I wanted to do a hairstyle, just didn't know which one. Finally, I found the time, the place, the energy. Finally did the video. That took, like, a whole week. And then, my sisters sporadically, they wanted to go to Vegas. <clears throat> Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna clear my throat <laughs> this entire time, but it's so good. But when that heat hit, hit your throat, the bottom of your <coughs> woo, y'all know, okay? So my sisters like sporadically went to go to Vegas. So we went to Vegas on like a fr we went to Vegas Friday night. So we spent all that time in Vegas. Um, we was there Friday until Sunday night, so literally almost to the to the T. It was like forty eight hours. I'm sorry. Hold on. I got my Snapchat up here. You guys can follow me on Snapchat. I rock my life. Okay. So we spent 
uh two days in vegas it was super fun we had an amazing we're all moms so it was four of us so we're all moms and honestly we just had a great time it was a great like vacay away from the kids it was like literally amazing the craziest things happen in vegas of course you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna tell y'all some things that happen some super funny stuff nothing crazy um i know we are in a how can I say this without YouTube, you know what I'm saying, try to snatch my money. Um, you know, little Rona, we, we are in a crisis. Let me say that. We are in a crisis right now. Oh. Yeah. Mm -mm. I swear, corn get, get juice everywhere. <clears throat> we are in a crisis right now. But, um, we made sure we were safe. Everything was all good or whatever like that. It wasn't as many people as I thought was. Of course, there's not that many people. Duh. Duh, Iraq. <laughs> Duh. Uh, it wasn't as many people, of course, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we in a crisis or whatever. <clears throat> Woo. Yes, I put lemon on my corn. I put lemon on everything. When it comes to a muck buying. Ooh. When it comes to a mug buying, I put a lemon on everything, sis. Uh uh. Mm hmm. Y'all see, I got like. Hold on, y'all hear this thing? I see all these lemons? Yes. Okay. I like my stuff lemony. Okay. Is that a word? Lemony? It's the word today. Uh, so yeah. It wasn't that many people, whatever, like that, but it was, it was real cool though. Okay. So I did that. <clears throat> Came back on Sunday, and of course, I was like completely tired. We barely even slept. Like, you don't go to Vegas to sleep. So, we barely slept while we were there. <clears throat> we was moms. We was moms buck wild, okay? Like, <laughs> you girls going wild. We was moms buck wild in Vegas, okay? We was like, we were just having a blast. Um. So, yeah. I came back on Sunday. Let's, let's, get, let's get into this, okay? So I came back on Sunday or whatever like that. It's really hard to talk and, like, try to eat. Like, I don't know, like, my scissors. When I see the lovelies and all that, how she just stay on top of it. And she just be doing her darn thing, okay? But it's hard to talk and eat. But, yeah. So we came back on Sunday. And then uh, my daughter's birthday was uh, Tuesday. And I was so unprepared for that because we just radically went to Vegas. And so I was to I was totally like crunching time to like make sure her birthday was everything that I could make it be during this pandemic. Do not eat this part, you guys. It's like the fat part. And it's just like, ew, it's gross. All right. But yeah. Um, so I came back, boom, I spent Monday, Tuesday, you know, doing the party. And um, so that was that. And I think Wednesday all day, like I just spent time editing my hair video. And then it came out absolutely amazing. So uh, then, yeah, that's what took me like a week and a half of like not uploading anything. But I try to upload stuff for y'all. But y'all don't understand sometimes. I mean, you, for those of you that are like that do do YouTube, like you get it. But I don't know, like editing takes like. It looks so easy. This supposed to be about Vegas, but real quick. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All that. All that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks super easy to do, like, YouTube or whatever, but it's not. Especially when it comes to, like, editing. First of all, you got to get the video idea or whatever. Then, it, you know, it comes to, like, editing or whatever. And that takes... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. That takes forever. So, I did finally upload. So, whoop. <clears throat> so, let me, let me like... I would really appreciate it if you guys would just, like, comment down below, like, some ideas or whatever. I be freaking I'm showing y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Huh. Woo. <clears throat> yeah. It was hot again. But <laughs> comment down below some ideas of what you guys like want to see me do. Like, I know I do like a whole bunch of things. Woo. 
on my channel or whatever like that but like comment and like give me some ideas so if you know at least that part would be done <laughs> then I have to focus on creating the video doing that creative part and then editing <clears throat> I only drink drinking water or purified water I do not like spring water like literally waters taste different like before like I would be like people say water tastes different I'm like water tastes water don't even gotta taste you know what I'm saying water don't taste like nothing but real life though different waters taste different and it's like I don't like spring water spring water tastes like dirt it tastes like the river rocks and stuff like that like that's how spring water tastes to me and I do not I might just die of dehydration before I drink some spring water like it it'd be that bad it'd be that bad though like it, I might drink and Lord knows Dr. Pepper <laughs> unpopular opinion Lord knows I'm gonna get into the Vegas just just get, give me one second hmm I'm gonna do this for y'all Lord knows Dr. Pepper and root beer is like the worst tasting soda in the world but I just I just might have to drink Dr. Pepper or root beer before spring water because that sh that junk is nasty. Like, I would drink out the faucet, of course, before I even drink, like, spring water. No no joke. It's worse than faucet water. But let me see. Let me show y'all this right here. Y'all see all this? Some people just dip, they, you know, they food in their sauce and get the butter or whatnot. You got to get the, you got to get the meat. You got to get the, mm, the onions, you know what I'm saying, the ginger, the garlic. You got to get all that, okay? You ain't getting that. You ain't eating your, your mukbang right. I'm telling you. Okay. We got 11 minutes. Oh, hold on. Let me hurry up. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How many y'all can do that? Be honest. How many y'all could? Mm-hmm, yeah. Boom. I love me some lemon. King Crab came from Costco. The corn did. Best corn in your life. If you haven't tried Costco, Costco corn, you need to. And then shrimp came from Albertsons. On Fridays, they have a sale and they shrimp sometimes. Check the sales paper. So I'll be getting their, you know, bag of shrimp. On Fridays. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, we went to Vegas. Woo! My makeup is like really cute. Like I'm not trying to mess it up. You see that? Ooh, you see that? Boom! <laughs> In your face. I don't you see that. Woo! Okay. So we went to Vegas. Okay. Vegas is four hours away from us, from where I live at. We got a rental. We went to Vegas. Mm hmm. Yeah. We stayed at the uh, Luxor. And um, that's on the strip. We, I, I went to Vegas so many freaking times, you guys. Like, for real? Um, we stayed at the Luxor. I stayed at the Luxor. I stayed at Excalibur. I stayed at Monte Carlo. Uh, Riviera is they they tore it down, but I stayed at Riviera. We stayed at South Point. I stayed at Whiskey Peaks. Um, there's another one with the M. For some reason, like I can't think of it, but I stayed there too. So I've been to Vegas like quite a few times. Vegas is cool though. If you haven't been to Vegas, like and you need to go like once in your life, like legit, it's cool. So we went. Ooh, it's hot. Mm -hmm. We went, go there, four hours, rental, boom. I sat at the look store, and during the crisis, uh, the parking, the parking, the parking, girl, <laughs> the parking is free. So that's cool, though. So we didn't have to pay for parking or whatever like that, which normally I believe we would have. So. Mm -hmm. Got there, it was jumping. <clears throat> Party don't start until we come in. You know me? So we got there. <clears throat> I gotta hurry up because I'm just taking too long. Hold on, though. Like, you see all that? You gotta just 
put your fingers in. You feel me? Like, hold on, let me get this for y'all. All on there, that thing. All on that thing. Come here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our room is freaking nice. I like the look store. Um, I like the look store. Pretty cool. Um, our room was big. Like I said, I stayed at a few hotels in Vegas, and I could say South Point, which is a which was which is like 20, 30 minutes until you get to like the Strip Vegas, which I kind of don't recommend. But that South Point was big. <clears throat> that hotel was big. And um, the Luxor, our room was huge, and our room wasn't even like a corner room. Like if you guys have, is at if you guys are experienced with going to hotels, you guys know like the corner rooms be like the biggest rooms. Our room was like in the middle, and our room was freaking bad. We had two queen size beds or whatever, so it was four of us, so two per bed. Oh, cool. When we got to Vegas, legit. I want to know what time it was. We left there at like nine o'clock. You know what I mean? You know how moms do. We have to get the kids situated and all that. So, y'all see that? Ooh, let me hold on real quick. <laughs> Ooh, y'all see that? Hope y'all didn't see it. Like, food just, like, flew out my mouth. Y'all see that? Y'all didn't see that. We good. All right. <clears throat> Continue. Hold on real quick. Let me, let me dip, dip, dipping. Let me, dip, let me, you know, let me dipping, though. Like, let me get some of that meat. You know what I'm saying? We got meat on meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we stayed there. <clears throat> what was that? Where was that? It was four of us. We stayed there, two for a bed. Big rooms. I highly recommend. It was pre it's pretty nice though. So we get there. Oh yeah, we get there and we left at we left from where I live at nine. We got there at like one. You know we did. You you think we went out at one o'clock? <laughs> you think we went out? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. We got there at one. We got ready, all that good stuff. It was probably like two thirty three to be real. And uh uh uh, we 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 mothers, okay? No kids. Oh, we turning up. We left our hotel like 2.30, 3 o'clock. We walked to the strip. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. You know what I mean? <laughs> we walked to the strip. Everything was cool or whatever like that. We stopped and gambled a few places or whatever. Um, we went to go get food. Um, like in the middle of the strip at this little Mexican restaurant. I wish I knew what it was called, but it wasn't. They was playing like jumping music. When I say jumping music, they was playing like, hold on real quick. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They was playing jumping music there. So we was like dancing or whatever like that. So that's basically all we did the first night. We came back. It was like 6 in the morning. So we were just hanging out, like talking to people, random people. We was we was there dancing, literally like in the restaurant. Everybody was looking like everybody turned down. We turned up because we just got here. Like we didn't turn down, we turned up. So it was super cool. Um, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. We came back. I didn't have heels on. Honestly, I just had boots on because. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I did that last time in Vegas. We walked the whole strip with heels on. Talk about dogs barking, okay? If you do bring heels, and you were doing all the walking, I suggest you bring some little flip-flops and a little backpack or a little, you know, uh, what is it called? Fanny packs or whatever because your dogs won't be barking, guarantee you, okay? And it's going to be all bad. It's going it's gonna, to no, mess up your whole trip. Don't do it. Bring a backup pair. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let me, let me hurry up with this with these stories and let y'all know what happened in Vegas. Cause what happened in Vegas? They say what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas, but I ain't never done nothing in Vegas that needs to stay in Vegas. Like for real, for real. I do worse stuff out here where I live at <laughs> than in Vegas. Okay, so boom. That was basically the night or whatever like that. <clears throat> we did enjoy ourselves. I'm so happy we went out and we just didn't like sleep or whatever like that because that would have been a night like you know wasted or whatever. 
So next day come, we wake up at nine. Y'all hear that? <clears throat> so seven, eight, nine. We had three hours of sleep, literally. We was in a hotel. Not our hotel, but like, we were in a hotel. <clears throat> so, um, I like left out or whatever like that. Like we were wearing something like really cute, you know, really like revealing or whatever, like cute, you know, what we would normally wear in Vegas. Um, Saturday night, it was, uh, uh, it was a good amount of people considering like the pandemic or whatever like that. Some parts of the strip was dead. But as soon as you get like towards the middle of the strip, of course, you know, you see a lot of people. But it was because it wasn't that much people, people, it was, there was, you could, you could basically, you could social distance. You know what I'm saying? Probably, probably wouldn't have been six feet, but you did have space. You know what I'm saying? So cool. So we were in this hotel, we were gambling or whatever like that. And my, one of my sisters wanted to go use the restroom. So we went, we went outside the hotel. She went to go to McDonald's. So we went to McDonald's, whatever like that. Anyhow, we waited. The line, the line was super long. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go, you know what I'm saying, gamble or whatever. So me and my other sister, we went back in the hotel. And the security guard was like, come here. And we went or whatever like that. He was like, open your bags. And I was like, and my sister was like, we're not opening our bags. And he's like, oh, we need to check your, your bags. And I'm like. What are you checking our bags for? He looked at me. He was like, "What do you mean? What are we checking our bags for?" And I was just like, "How how are you gonna?" Re so just so it's annoying. How are you gonna repeat the same question I just asked you? What are you checking our bags for? He said for weapons or something like that. And it's like the fuck. I had a I had a little you know a little bad bad boy for my sandals. You feel me? <laughs> And so basically, we didn't let him check our bags. Um, we just like went went outside the uh, the hotel. So we like mean mugged him like through the glass or whatever like that, because he uh, he was not checking nobody else's bags. He targeted us to check our bag. And I'm like, is this something? I mean, if it was something new, he could have just been like, oh, this is a new procedure, or you know, this happened, and this is why we've been doing this or whatever like that. So, everybody that's walking in, he's not checking, you know, their bags. So, basically, he thought there were, there's some holes in it, uh, there's some holes in it. He thought we were selling that thing, that, that kitty cat, that meow. <laughs> he thought he was selling that meow. For the record, we was not trying to sell ourselves or anything like that. Just having fun, like, I don't know. He just does the book by his cover and he just thought like, okay, probably maybe we were there to we were there to do that, but it wasn't. So Okay. Boom, that happened or whatever like that. So we go and get um Fat Tuesdays. And that's drinks or whatever. So we go and get drinks and um y'all see all that meat? Hold on, what over here? Yo, yes. I'm not gonna I'm gonna see me work this thing right here. So um, we go to we go to we go to get drinks at Fat Tuesdays, which is on the strip. There's like three, four, five, eight, ten. There's a lot of Fat Tuesdays on the strip, and a lot of places that are like basically Fat. Let me tell you guys. I don't know if you guys know. I'm talking like you guys have been to Vegas. So Fat Tuesdays is like a little slushy uh, drink or whatever. So um, we go to Fat Tuesdays or whatever like that. Boom, we leave the line or whatever. There's these guys like on the side like you know watching people like walk or whatever like that so they're you're they're just they're just standing there chilling you know what i'm saying not looking suspicious or anything like that i started there chilling you know people are walking 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 and they have they had like some accents like i don't know if it's jamaican accent or what but they had accents and they were like young escorts i can't even do it like my sister could do it so well but <laughs> they're like young escorts young escorts i didn't even i couldn't even make out what he said he said something but i didn't know he said that and my sister was like, no, 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 no. It's just like you, they were just like standing there, I guess, like just picking, picking at women. And like, are you guys pimps or something like that? Because who just does that? Who does, who? He got me all mad. Like, <laughs> who, 
Why, why do men do that? Men like to uh, slut shame women, call women this and this and that. And it's like, what is it to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what difference does it make in your life? I'm confused. Like, are you trying to pick up a girl? Are you a pimp? Or are you just literally standing here just throwing out insults? Like, is that, is that what you're doing? Okay. So, I was just like, this guy, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand guys sometimes. So, anyhow, everybody thought we was escorts. Everybody thought we was selling that meow. My sister was like, so we kept walking or whatever like that. My, my sister was like, she yelled out something so random. She was like, and that's why your mom sold drugs and she smoked it. It was hilarious. It was so random. Okay, and there was this other dude that was not with him. He was like, I heard that. I heard that. You cold. You cold. And he said something like that. I, it was hilarious. He was rolling for the rest of the night like because of that. And I was just like, that was crazy. So, we was that fat dude. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody was targeting us like I don't understand so we was at Fat Tuesdays right getting our drinks or whatever so she's making our drinks she's about to make our drink and she goes like this and I didn't notice it like I mean I didn't notice it so she went like this so my sister she's standing there she's like um she said like this she said do they have do they have sanitizer here or something like that and she was like yeah the sanitizer is out there and she was like does it have, do they have sanitizers for employees she was trying to be like discreet without calling her out you know what i'm saying she's like here ours is right here and she was like um well you know you just scratched your head and that's not you know what i'm saying that's not sanitized i don't know the word right now but uh you just scratched your head like you need to like either go well, you know, wash your hands or sanitize them. Like, we really would appreciate it. She got so freaking burnt. So, she, like, she just, like, looked and, like, rolled her eyes or whatever like that. But it's like, like, come on now. You're scratching your scalp and you're going to make her drinks. You can't be mad if, we, if, if, you know, and, you know, it's just, you know, the virus is going around and all that. Like, just sanitize your freaking, like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, no one, if I, if it was a shoe on the other foot, she would be like, she just scratched her freaking head and she's like, gonna make my drink, like, just sanitize it real quick, you know what I'm saying? So, um, she was like, I was, I asked my sister, I was like, I was like, what's up, what's up or whatever, she was telling me like, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't trying to be rude or like, you know, let everybody know, but it's like, she scratched her head and I just wanted to like, kind of get her attention until it was like, sanitize your hands. And, um, she told, she told my sister straight up like this, she was like, are you still salty? And she said it with an attitude, and I was just like, this is the type of, this is the type of, this is the type of service you, you give people? Like, oh, I see why you think it's okay to just scratch your head and keep on making drinks like nothing ever happened. Like, well, we were doing something wrong by telling you, like, bringing it to your attention. Not in a rude way, super polite. But she's like, are you still salty or whatever like that? And I was just like, no, she didn't. My sister was like all calm or whatever like that. And we just like, we just like looked at her or whatever. She would name, she kept making drinks or whatever, making our drinks. She like, you need to be, um, you need to be worried about money because money's really dirty. And it was like, we just like looked like we didn't say anything. We we're like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> okay. But she, she did sanitize her hands after my sister told her or whatever. Which is like only right. And she was like, she was so mad, dude. Like the whole time. She was looking at her drink, she was rolling her eyes and all that. And it was just like. Let me know in the comments, like, were we, like, was my sister wrong? She's my older sister, too. Was she wrong for calling the girl out, but not trying to be rude about it, although she took it in a rude way, like, you, you were scratching your freaking head. And I'm sure you were scratching your head all night, making everyone else scream. But I hope that at that point, she, she, you know, she came to recognize, and it came to her knowledge, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm scratching my head. And she didn't realize it, but hope she know from now on out that the rest of the night, she started to sanitize her hands more because she was like scratching her head. So on the brighter side of things, you guys, um, there was this one girl um, that I kept walking by in that same hotel. She was up like 2800 Like tap in, cash out, cash out. She was betting like $12. Um, I don't remember what game she was on. If I go there, like I'll be able to re recognize it. But 
she was on this one game but she was up she was betting like twelve dollars and then she went up and started betting like twenty five dollars on a, on a slot machine she was up to like twenty eight hundred that would, that would be me oh i'm tapping out i'm cashing out oh hold up let me zoom in for you guys all right I'm tapped in like I am cashing completely out or whatever like that but she kept on going and I ended up going back by her like later on that night she was at like 800 bucks and I was just like girl come on you should have tapped out but yeah that was on a brighter note that was super cool I did win I was playing I don't remember the game but it was it was probably just quick hit I got four quick hits and I think that's like that was like 48 bucks so that was like that was good I, I end up tapping out. Like I said, okay, I'm tapping out. <laughs> mm -mm. But if you are trying to win that Vegas, you do have to like that bet high on the slot. But yeah, you had so much fun hanging out, meeting people, walking the strip, got food. We had a good time. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, all that. Mm -hmm, yeah. So, uh, let me know if you guys are enjoying this video. Don't forget to like this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up in a second. So we got our stuff right here. Oh, you know. um. <clears throat> I don't know how he loves to like talk and eat because, like. Uh, and that's really hard. <clears throat> so yeah. I got an amazing deal at a hotel. We, we could choose from the Luxor, the Excalibur, or New York, New York. So if you guys want to know this deal, when I say like, the deal that we got, not this time, but for next time, because we're going in April, it was... I must say like 90% off, including the resort fee, okay? So, if you guys want to know about this deal, follow me on Instagram at irock4life and um, DM me and I'll put you guys on. But like, I want to tell everybody, it's legit and all that. And I guarantee you, you're going to be like, oh, thank you, like, it's like the best deal like ever. Better than winning money on a slot. Like literally 90% off. So yeah. DM me. So it's okay. If you plan on going to Vegas so you get this deal. You're going to be like. Save you so much money. Guarantee you. Okay boom. Let me eat one of these. Let me eat one of these for y'all. Woo. There we go. Y'all see this meat. Hope this be my thumbnail or something like that. I don't know. This right here, this right, oof, y'all don't know. Okay, so yeah, I was gonna say something else, I can't even think about it, but we had a great time. It was back to our kiddos Sunday night. Mmm, hold up. <clears throat> <clears throat> this if I could have a seafood boil once a month I totally would like I don't know I can't eat it every other day like some other mukbang people that literally do like a lot of mukbangs everybody knows seafood boil is like the most popular mukbang I can do it every other day or once a week. It's good, but mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this joint expensive though. Like this right here, mm -mm. I could eat some top ramen noodles for y'all and do a mukbang on that, but. Oh yeah, at the end of this video, I'm going to put up my first ever mukbang. Yo, 
and I made my sauce. It was legit fire. It was not spicy at all, and it was so good. <clears throat> Make sure you guys watch that video. I'm gonna put it at the very end. I appreciate that all of you that sat here and was like watch this whole video, like y'all the true, y'all the real ones. Let me know in the comments down below so I can let y'all know how much I appreciate y'all. That was it. Make sure you guys show me some love in the comments. I don't care if you guys comment a purple flower. Every comment helps. Make sure you guys share this video, like this video, and assist. If you're not subscribed, you go, you go maybe hop through this uh, camera right here and click subscribe for you, okay? Make sure you subscribe, all right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this seafood mukbang. I had the king crab legs. I'm going to finish this one off camera. It's taking too long. I had the corn. I had the shrimp. I had all that. It was good. I tried to entertain you guys. Let y'all know about Vegas. It was super lit. It was super fun. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Real quick. <clears throat> They did make sure in every hotel you had to wear your mask. They had a cleaning, uh, they had you, they had a station where you could wash your hands in every single hotel, like in the middle of the hotel, probably more than one. So it, it was super safe. I, I like how they adjusted things for to make things a lot more safe. So I did want to say that and even in the even in the hotels, they had like um, hand sanitizer for you. They gave out masks in the hotels as well. And inside of your room and as well as in the hotels itself. So it was super cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed this seafood mukbang and listening to my little mini vacay away from the kids. <laughs> a mommy vacay to Vegas. And I will see you guys in my next video. I will put up two videos right here for you guys. My first seafood mukbang and as well as another uh, video. I hope you guys check those two out. And I will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.